Hey, what's up YouTube? Double Watch Josh coming at you guys with another ammo haul from sportsmansguy.com. And today, if you guys could help me out, uh, leave some comments below about whether the stuff I'm buying is good or bad. I'd really appreciate it, especially if you've ever had any prior experiences with it. Uh, today, I'm going to show you some 762 NATO cartridges that I bought. And I don't own a 308 or a 762 NATO rifle or anything like that. And you might be thinking, well, why are you buying the ammo first without buying the rifle? And the answer is I live in California. So these online orders are about to come to an end at the end of this year. And so, you know, right now, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to buy the ammo and then buy the rifle later. And so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually not 762 NATO. Let's go ahead and pull it out. It's actually just some uh, Fiocchi, you know, it's pretty standard stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Yeah, just 223 Remington uh, FMJ 55 grain. Pretty standard stuff. I'm not even going to really show it to you. Everybody knows what this kind of looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And then the next thing that we have up is going to be this right over here. So let's get some good shots of it. This is uh, made in Germany and it's the Magtech MEN. Uh, let's see. I believe they have it listed as 762 NATO. I don't think this is uh, 308. And another quick side note is I like how it, you know, Sportsman's Guide kind of packaged this. You know, they threw in some paper to help cushion the uh, the ammo. And so let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's on what's on the inside. Get on my trusty knife here. Okay, so as you can see, it's MEN, made in Germany. I'm showing you guys some of the uh, 124 grain 9mm before. And so let's get a good shot of that. So this is 762 by 51 FMJ, uh, 147 grain bullets. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe open one up. Um, let me cut it open real quick. Go ahead and show you the uh, cartridges on the inside. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. nice all right so we got that out of the way I'm gonna put this aside as well okay then the next thing we have up here you know again nice nice packaging I like the paper kind of cushions it. I might do a separate video on this. This is uh, the uh, Hertenberger. This is uh, also out of Germany, I believe. It's either Austria or Germany. And as you can see, this is military surplus. Yeah, I think I'll do a separate video. I'm not sure if I even want to crack this open quite yet. This looks pretty nice. This looks pretty good. Let's see if I can just slip it out. Yeah, I can slip it out. So it's going to come in this uh, paper box. And then here's the rest of it. It's all nice and sealed up. Uh, I believe this is either from the 70s or the 80s. Uh, looks, I'm seeing a 77, so I believe this was made back in 1977. I'm impressed. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I'm going to set this aside. Okay, then the last thing is going to be this ammo can right over here. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it around. 
get a good shot of that. So this is made by PPU or Privy Partisan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but over here, as you can see, this is, uh, you know, 762 by 51 NATO M80 ball, uh, full metal jacket, bow tail, 145 grain. Oh uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. You know, I'm not really seeing any dents on the ammo can or anything. And then of course we're going to crack her open. Let's show you the internals. Yeah, well, there's this little thing right over here. It looks like, you know, some kind of like seal or whatnot. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't crack it open quite yet. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do this at a later time. Well, anyway, guys, just like in the last video, I'm going to show you all of the uh, costs of everything. And, um, Another quick side note, this actually came out of Serbia. Uh, PPU or Privy Partisan is made in Serbia, in case you were wondering. And just like in the last video, I'm going to show you how much I paid for everything. And also let me know if I got ripped off. I got free shipping on this, so everything that's listed and you know on the price on the screen is pretty much what I paid. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.